Hey everyone, thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to do an episode for my playlist, New Tackle and Trends. That's where I either go over a trend that's popular in the fishing industry, or I go over a brand new bait. And today I'm gonna go over a brand new bait from Yamamoto Baits. This is a bait that I feel like everyone's gonna wanna know about because there are times when you just need a bite. And I feel like this is really gonna be one of those baits that'll help you get a bite. And when you talk about that, in line of of all that Yamamoto has to offer. I don't know that anything really can get you a bite better than a Senko, but I feel like this two and a half inch Yamamoto Covert Craw is definitely gonna be one of the tops. And the bait is really unique in that it's got a lot of detail. I really like what they've done with it. Obviously it's a tiny little bait. It's a two and a half inch size, but it's got these different appendages up and down here that I feel like will catch water. As you can see, these things are just vibrating with just a little bit of movement. And then they've done some different things like on one side, it's uh, more rounded, it's got more texture, and it has more design involved in it. And then in the other side, it's more of fl flat. And so it kind of looks like a little bitty crawfish. And I don't know that there's anything out there that doesn't eat little bitty crawfish when it comes to you know, what swims out there in just about any uh, watery environment. So I feel like a crawfish uh, imitation like this co covert craw is gonna really be cool. Comes in a lot of different colors that you would expect from Yamamoto. And it's made with a, the Mega Floater formula. So for those of you that don't know about the Mega Floater formula, Yamamoto has launched a few baits like the Slinko, which is more of a ribbed Sanko. And that mega floater formula enables that bait to stand up when it hits the bottom. So like I've got the uh, Covert Craw rigged on a net head, which I think is just a natural setup for this type of a bait. And it'll actually stand up in my hand like that. And so when this thing hits the bottom, now that little, those two crawfish claws are going to stand up with this mega floater formula. It, do, it won't keep it, you know, buoyant and sitting on top of the water, but when you rig it up with something like a lead head, it'll go down to the bottom, but it'll want to stand up. And I think that's really key for getting fish to notice your presentation. If it just falls over like that, not as noticeable, especially it can be, uh, it can be hidden amongst the rocks and weeds and whatnot, but when you stand it up and you move it, and then it stands back up and waves around like a living creature, it's going to be key for getting bites. Probably the other obvious way to rig it would be on the back of a little finesse jig like this. And this is on a quarter ounce Buckeye balling out finesse jig. So this is a really cool little bait. I feel like it just enables you to get a tiny little package. And when you talk about, you know, tough conditions or times when you have super clear water, a lot of fishing pressure, uh, this type of a presentation is going to definitely get you some more bites. And this bait is something that I feel like fits into that BFS category. For those of you that aren't familiar with BFS, BFS is a bait finesse system. I think it was popularized in Japan. And they've got rods, reels, lines, hooks, and different uh, baits that are offered now. The BFS type fishing has grown in popularity. And I think the reason why is because if you're bank fishing, stream fishing, pond fishing, you know, those types of tactics are gonna get you some action. I mean, immediately. And it's not that it's not gonna catch you some big ones because I've caught some of my biggest fish on some small baits. So that's the uh, two and a half inch Yamamoto Covert Craw. Again, it's in that mega floater formula, offered in a lot of colors, fish catching colors. And you may have seen it out there at retail. I know that they've got it on the website at baits.com. If you wanna check that out, Definitely something that I feel like will work really well for spotted bass, smallmouth, obviously on a net head like that. And when they're spawning, I can imagine also just cruising down the bank, you can visually see them out in front of the boat. You throw this on a little light spinning rod with a, a net head, it falls to the bottom, stands right up, probably gonna catch some of those fish that you see cruising in the springtime. But I feel like it's gonna be effective anytime those fish are relating to the bottom, feeding on crawfish, that two and a half inch Yamamoto Covert Craw is probably going to be a fish catcher. So new tackling trends, the Yamamoto Covert Craw, definitely something you're going to want to check out. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the old Covert Craw. And for those of you that don't know, I've got a merch line now, 
It's uh, Team Niggemeyer Fishing. I'll leave that link down in the description as well. So if you wanna go over there and check out some of my new merch, got some hats, hoodies, t-shirts. So check that out. Sure appreciate it. And until next time, thanks for watching and good fishing.